Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'd love to show you a bit more of an in-depth overview of Bullclip. Bullclip is a design and construction collaboration platform for your PDF markups and annotations. You can access Bullclip projects through our Windows 10 app, our iOS app, or through any modern web browser. By the end of this video, you're going to understand how to better manage your markup process, preventing rework, confusion, and time delays in your team. So I'm here on app.bullclip.com. This is the web app, which you can access via any modern web browser. When I log in, I'm presented with the projects list. When you sign up for the first time, we'll populate your free trial with a sample project. This sample project has some drawings and documents in it, already somewhat marked up for you. This is a great place to start exploring Bullclip for the first time. Now before we move into creating our own new projects, I'll point out that on the left hand side of the projects list, you can edit your Bullclip profile, upgrade or change your Bullclip subscription, and find support in our documentation. Ok, so we're ready to go ahead and create a new project. You'll set up a project tile and a description so that your team and contractors can identify the project. This is visible to everyone on the project. Ok, we've created the project and we're taken to the project overview page. Now there is a lot happening on the overview page. The middle area has a checklist to get the project moving and counters of all your project files and team members. The left hand side panel allows you to navigate to your drawings, document and team lists as well as project settings. The right hand side panel gives me some operations I can perform on the project. As I have owner permissions on this project, I have full access to these operations. For example, I can export my project, which will send me a link to download my project contents retaining the editability of all markups. So we've created a project. Let's manually upload some drawings. Now Bullclip does have an API for custom upload integrations, and that's available on our enterprise plan. But let's go to the drawings list and select upload drawings. Once I hit open, I'm taken to the uploads area where your upload queue is separated into two tabs, in progress and review and publish. Now the concept of drawings in Bullclip is different in purpose to that of documents. Drawings are only single page PDFs to the extent that if you were to upload a multi page PDF to the drawings area, Bullclip would split the PDF into single pages. This is extremely handy when uploading drawing sets, for example. Documents on the other hand can be any PDF you want. This is where you'll upload all your supporting documentation, for example. Ok, so we can see that the drawings I uploaded have finished processing and they've moved to the Review and Publish tab. I'll enter my drawing number, title, revision and any discipline information that I want to be seen on this drawing. If you upload a drawing with the same drawing number details as a previous drawing, the new drawing automatically supersedes the old one and your entire team will see the new drawing by default. They can still tab back to the old versions if they want to see a change history. Whilst we're at it, I'll go and publish a document as well. Go to the Documents tab, click Upload Documents and I'll select this one. The metadata requirements for documents are different, so I'll fill those out and hit Publish. Now let's get to the good stuff. I'm going to select the first drawing in my project and click Launch on the right hand side. This takes us to the web canvas. The web canvas is where all your markup activity will show. On the top left of the canvas you can navigate back to the project by clicking the hamburger. Just below that you have the drawing information tab where you can get up to date information on this drawing as well as go to previous versions of the same PDF. On the top right, and this is something really exciting about Bullclip, is the markups panel. In the Bullclip web app, any user on any modern web browser can mark up PDF drawings and documents. This gives Bullclip ultimate accessibility for desktop users, such as project managers and design engineers. There are four areas here, pen tools, insert options such as polygons and clouds, measurements and page calibration, and content selection. On the bottom left hand side of the canvas, we have the Contributors panel. The public layer is where your entire team's annotations will show in real time as they add them. The draft layer on the other hand is for you to make private sketches and markups before pushing them to the public layer. 
Your draft layer will also sync between all your devices that you log into. Now, you'll notice that just to the right, we've got a user icon. This is where contributors to the drawing will show once they've added their own annotations. Let's go ahead and add my consulting engineer, Hannah, to the project. I'll click the Add button on the Contributors panel, which takes me to the team list, and I'll add Hannah as a contributor. Once I go back to the canvas, and once Hannah accepts the invitation email, ah yes, Hannah has already started to make her markups on the public layer. We can select these annotations to confirm that Hannah was the author, and toggle Hannah's annotations in the Contributors panel. You can even choose to display a unique colour for all her annotations for ease of identification. The last thing for today's overview is to show you the Windows 10 application. Bullclip's Windows 10 app works incredibly well with devices that have a touchscreen and pen, such as the Surface Studio, Surface Pros, and even the Surface Hub. Now I'll open the same project in the Windows 10 app over on the right here. I've still got the web app open on the left in Edge. I'll get one of my pen tools here and I'll pinch zoom into an area to mark up. Notice the super fast rendering on the canvas. Bullclip doesn't rasterize your PDFs. We make the most of vector content that is built into the PDF itself. I'll mark up and we can see the annotations appear instantly in real time in my web browser. The same also occurs with the Bullclip iOS app, which you can get from the iTunes store. Thanks for watching today, and I hope you can start to see how much your company partnered with Bullclip will complete projects faster, decrease communication timelines, and ultimately stop printing paper. If you have any questions, you can contact our team at sales at drawboard.com.